Let's try this again. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to worship. We're so glad that uh, you all remembered that it, service was at 9.30, uh, not its normal uh, regular time. Uh, today is a special treat, a uh, time for us to uh, enjoy uh, the Christmas uh, time through song, through readings. Uh, we thank the choir and the handbells and all those that uh, went into this. Uh, it's an exciting time for us. Uh, we also do want to remind you, after service, we do have coffee and drinks, and then there are some donut holes. We'd be glad for you guys to join us uh, as we celebrate and we kick off uh, our Christmas time. Uh, at this time, as we do always, we rise and greet those around us. the hearing of winter's first treasured song, we are gradually, gradually gathered from the noise of our daily enterprise and drawn into the hopeful sounds of Christmas. With great expectation, we begin to decorate our days with the sights and songs of this blessed season and prepare our hearts for the warming candle of Christ's birth. With reverence, we take from the closets of our heart the special memories of Christmas's past and place them thoughtfully in our homes like sacred relics. Our places of worship reverberate with the time-honored carols of our faith, and we remember that we are loved. As you listen and join in this celebrations of carols, may you be reminded of Christ's mercy and grace. As you hear the timeless story, may you grasp hope with all of your heart and experience the rich abundance that is the true gift of the season. May joy and peace surround you as you hear and sing the carols, so beloved. Let Christmas begin.
you will please rise and join me as we join God in prayer. <clears throat> Merciful God, we gather today to celebrate the gift of your dear son, Jesus Christ. We bless you for the peace he brings to human homes, for the goodwill he teaches to everyone, for the glory of your goodness shining in his face, for his holy birth and his rest in the manger, for the pure tenderness of his mother Mary, for the fatherly care that protected him, for the divine grace that sent the holy child to be the savior of the world. In praying and praising, in giving and receiving, in eating and drinking, in singing and making merry, in parents' gladness and in children's mirth, in good memories of those who have departed, in precious friendship with those who were here, in kind wishes for those who are far away, by welcoming strangers, by keeping the music of the angels song here in this place. God help us everyone to share the blessings of Jesus in whose name we keep Christmas and whose words uh, we gather in, together in. Amen. Please be seated.
fall of Adam. Now the serpent was craftier than any of the wild animals the Lord God had made. He said to the woman, did God really say you must not eat from any tree in the garden? The woman said to the serpent, we may eat fruit from the trees in the garden, but God did say you must not eat fruit from the tree that is in the middle of the garden, and you must not even touch it or you will die. You will not certainly die, the serpent said to the woman, for God knows that when you eat from it, your eyes will be opened and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. When the woman saw that the fruit of the tree was good for food and pleasing to the eye and also desirable for gaining wisdom, she took some and ate it. She also gave some to her husband who was with her and he ate it. Then the eyes of both of them were opened and they realized they were naked. So they sewed fig leaves together and made coverings for themselves. Then the man and his wife heard the sound of the Lord God as he was walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And they hid from the Lord God among the trees of the garden. But the Lord God called out to them saying, where are you? promise to Abraham. Then the Lord spoke to Abraham and made this promise. I will surely bless you and make your descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky and as the sand on the seashore. And through your offspring, all nations on earth will be blessed.
peace that Christ will bring is foretold. The people that walked in darkness have seen a great light, that they dwell in the land of the shadow of death. Upon them hath the light shined. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders. And he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Christ's birth and kingdom are foretold by Isaiah. A shoot will come up from the stump of Jesse. From his roots, a branch will bear fruit. The spirit of the Lord will rest on him, the spirit of wisdom and of understanding, the spirit of counsel and of might, the spirit of the knowledge and the fear of the Lord. And he will delight in the fear of the Lord.
The angel Gabriel visits Mary. And in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God unto a city of Galilee named Nazareth 
to a virgin espoused to a man whose name was Joseph, of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And the angel came in unto her and said, Hail, thou art highly favored. The Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women. And when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying, and cast into her mind what manner of greeting this should be. And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in thy womb and bring forth a son, and will call his name Jesus.
birth of Christ. And it came to pass in those days that a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be registered. So all went to be registered, everyone to his own city. Joseph also went up from Galilee, out of the city of Nazareth, into Judea, to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be registered with Mary, his betrothed wife, who was with child. So it was that while they were there, the days were completed for her to be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son, and wrapped him in swaddling cloths, and lied him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn.
shepherds go to the manger. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of heavenly hosts appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in a manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what they had learned about this child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them.
Magi Follow the Star. After Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea, during the time of King Herod, Magi from the east came to Jerusalem and asked, Where is the one who has been born King of the Jews? We saw his star and when it rose and have come to worship him. mystery of the incarnation in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God he was with God in the beginning through him all things were made 
Without him, nothing was made that has been made. In him was life, and that life was the light of all mankind. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it.
Good morning and welcome again to everybody. Glad you were here. Let's take a second uh, once again to give a warm uh, thank you to all of you all for everything today. You do have listed in your bulletin everybody that, that uh, participated today, choir, handbells, uh, a whole bunch of support folks listed. Great job, wonderful blessing for us today to, to share your gifts with us. So thank you, thank you so much. Uh, I do wanna make a couple quick announcements uh, before we go to prayer. Uh, reminder that, uh, so today of course was a 9.30 service, great job. Uh, please note in your announce section, the green uh, section here that on December 24th, and December 31st, so that's uh, Christmas Eve morning worship services and, uh, and New Year's Eve wor uh, morning worship services, one service again, okay, so 9.30 those days. Uh, it, it's a little challenging, I know, having this uh, different schedule, but on those days, uh, being the holidays, we, we opted to do that. With, uh, so again, just make sure on those days you remember on those Sunday mornings, uh, December 24th and December 31st, one service only, again, 9.30, it's uh, all listed here. It does also list our, our Advent midweek services and our Sunday stuff. Uh, we started a series with uh, Jesus Revealed. Uh, last Sunday, we talked about Adam. This past Wednesday, Abraham was here. Some of you got to see Abraham. Who got to see Abraham? It was pretty awesome. Uh, that's what I'm gonna say. It was very interesting to have Abraham be here. Uh, this Wednesday, Moses supposedly is gonna be here. I don't know. So we'll see. Uh, look forward to having you here with us. Of course, there's a meal beforehand, uh, beforehand there. I believe that is it. Uh, after, after service, I'm going to invite you. You see the, the doors open. We've got all sorts of coffee uh, and, and some donuts, donut holes to be specific, so as not to mislead anybody. <laughs> donut holes. Donut holes and coffee. We'd love to have you come over and join us uh, as, we, as we wrap things up today. Uh, at this time, uh, let us go to God in prayer and, uh, and ask his blessings. Out of our grace and mercy, we rejoice that you have sent your one and only son to be our savior, to bring us life and salvation. And as we prepare to celebrate his birth, we thank you today, Lord, for the many gifts and abilities, for the talents that you have bestowed on those today that have blessed us as they shared their singing and musical talents we ask you, Lord, to, to continue to bless them as they share those gifts, sharing your word and bringing joy to us as we listen. Lord, we lift up to you those that, that we do have in our hearts and minds today. Uh, Lord, we pray for those who are sick, for those who are lonely, those who are struggling. Uh, we thank you for those who provide care for them. But Lord, today we also pray that you would fill us each with joy uh, and the desire to serve, that we would reach out to those in our family, th those within our community, uh, Lord, those we know and those we don't know, that no one would feel lonely or left out, uh, that they would know your love above all else as we seek to share the good news uh, that your son has indeed come to bring life and salvation to all. Uh, Lord, we pray today that you would be with us, uh, be with us now, especially as we rise and as we pray together the prayer that your son has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. And the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and grant you his peace. Amen. Please be seated.
the light of the Christmas star to you, the warmth of home and hearth to you, the cheer and goodwill of friends to you, the hope of a childlike heart to you, the joy of a thousand angels to you, the love of the sun and God's peace to you. Go now in peace and let the celebration of Christmas begin. Thank you. 